The Psalms really do teach us to pray. One of the exercises I like to do with my students, and I always join them, uh, is to write my own lament. Um, Laments follow a certain pattern, and so um, you can write your own prayer according to this pattern too. It's easy to remember three Ps, protest, petition, and praise. Um, You may not think you're much of a poet, but I'm always pleased and uh, uh, gratified when the students get started on this assignment, because once they start with the protest, that's when you complain to God, um, and it just doesn't take much to get them going. Um, And I think we should be really candid with our complaints when we lay them before God. After all, God knows what's in our heart anyway, so what have we got to lose? We certainly can't have anything to hide. So set things out there. and you know, read a few of the laments if you if you want uh, courage. Psalm 13, for instance, begins, "How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever?" Or Psalm 22, which Jesus quoted from the cross, "My God, my God, why have you forsaken me?" That's pretty blunt, um, and I think we can perhaps be more candid in our prayers than we ever assumed. So, okay, start with your protests complain before God. Just lay it out there. And then ask God for what you want, what you need. That's the petition part. Of course, you can always add, thy will be done, uh, which is a good idea because God knows what's good for us better than we know ourselves. But then, even in a lament, put in a little praise, even if it's just anticipated praise, um, uh, your your faith, your hope that God will respond to your prayers somehow in a way that only God knows what's best for us. So go ahead, write your own lament, and then put it away somewhere where you can look at it a week later, a year later, 10 years later. It's amazing when you look back at those old laments to See the ways that God has responded to your prayers. Sometimes it's not in the way you expect, but it's always in a loving and faithful way.